you save the children these days are not are not learning as well as they should, and it's actually been um, researched that 70 percent of the children in sub-Saharan Africa, where Uganda falls, actually, by the time they finish primary seven, are very low in terms of numeracy and literacy. So low in terms of numeracy and literacy, mathematics mm -hmm. and English. And the question is, what are we teaching our children? Are we teaching them things that are going to help them in their daily life when they grow up? What can we do to improve our education system? I think our, our idea, our idea of what is uh, your ability to count or what is your ability to use numbers, I think it's very skewed. People think only if you can solve a sum on a paper, you know it. Somebody can, you know, goats are walking, let's say five hundred goats are walking. There are people who can just look like that and count it. That is also numbers, isn't it? Very difficult numbers <laughs> So, uh, our modern education is mainly aimed towards producing people who will sit in offices. I think we also need to produce a whole lot of people who can be on the field, who can do things in the world in a different way than just paper pushing. <coughs> so, uh, I think right now the education system is trying to put everybody through the same hoops without having any sense of what is a particular child's aptitude. There is no system to gauge aptitude. Everybody is put through the same things and if you're not able to do a particular thing, you get branded as a dull child. I must tell you this maybe. <laughs> my, <laughs> my father being a physician, being in India, in India there's only one, now things are changing, but at least when we were growing up, education means you must become a doctor, okay? If you're a failure, you become an engineer. All right? If you don't do that, you're illiterate. That's how it is understood. Now, of course, they've all become IT professionals in, <laughs> in… you know, information technology has become big. Otherwise, when we were growing up, education means medicine. If you… if you fail, you become an engineer. If you don't do that, that means you're nothing <laughs> So. <laughs> That's definitely my father's uh, view also because he is a physician and uh, his idea of life is that you must be a physician <laughs> So, when uh, <clears throat> recently it happened a few years ago, a group of doctors from Atlanta in United States, they were visiting my the place where I grew up, where my father still lives. I did not know they were visiting that town, about thirty, forty of these doctors were touring there and they… they wanted to go and see my father without telling me. So I would have warned them <laughs> But they went there and uh, obviously they started asking, uh, they want to know about my childhood and everything because now they are very influenced by me. So they went and asked my father, we want to hear as much as we can about Sadhguru's childhood. So my father thought about it and uh, he's ninety-four and uh, he said, he was such a dull boy, but now he's somehow become a genius, I don't know how this happened <laughs> So the moment you cannot do those hoops that they have set up for you, in the school, you become a dull boy. What else she can do, nobody explores. You must be able to do this, this and this, otherwise you are a dull boy. Maybe you are able to do something else, but nobody is interested in that <laughs> So, I think especially in a rural scape like this, allowing children to explore many things and teachers paying attention to the children as to what is their aptitude, 
and accordingly guiding them would be far more useful than just giving this thing that everybody is going to dress in a certain way and go sit in an office. It's… it's not necessary. Everybody should go and sit in an office room <laughs> behind the table. <laughs> That's not the only way to make life. And uh, those who never sat behind a table, they are the people who provide food for us, they are the people who nourish this planet and this world and the humanity. So I think equal regard, equal respect must be given to those people. I had… we have a business uh, conference every year in the month of November. There were two hundred very high-flying CEOs last year. They were all talking about big things, all of them had MBA, MBA, many, many things there. Highly educated people, successful in industry and business. So something came up and I was telling them, see, I will give you a fertile piece of land and I'll give you a book, how to grow a particular crop. Ten of you together, get together and grow one crop, let me say. You cannot because it takes a completely different kind of intelligence, attention and application to take food out of mud, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a lot. It's a certain intelligence, it's a certain education, but somehow we have made it like if somebody is working with the soil, he must be uneducated. If somebody is suited, booted and sitting behind a table, he's educated. Our idea of education is very skewed and it is not productive in the long run, it's not a sustainable form. If everybody on the planet gets educated like that, nobody will be doing the fundamental things which need to happen. It's the uneducated people who are feeding us <laughs> So I think what you're saying, Sadhguru, is that we need to broaden our education system. One hundred percent. And… Uh, and make sure children are taught as individuals rather than as a group. To yes. To explore their potential as individuals. I think that's what you're saying. Yes. If we do not explore that, you will… See, it has become common for people to refer to themselves like this. They will say, I'm a product of Eton or I'm a product of this particular university, whatever. Mm -hmm. So you're admitting that you're a product. <laughs> so a product can be packaged and sold and whatever, but a product will not grow. The idea of a school is to cultivate a child in such a way that the child can grow to his or her full potential. Mm -hmm. Potential need not necessarily mean going out and making so much money. Mm -hmm. Potential means as a human being, you became a full-fledged human being mm -hmm. and whatever you do is of a certain quality because of your involvement and your attention. Mm -hmm. uh, education as information is just a little bit of addition. Mm 